Okay, so to finish off the household budget, we've got the net cash, open cash, and closing cash section. So the net cash, that's A minus B. So if we look at our budget up towards the top, we'll see A. So A is our total cash. So these figures here for April, 3,720. For May, 3,870. For June, 3,870. And your total, 11,460. That's your A. And from A, it says minus B. So B is your total expenditure. So A is your total income. B is your total expenditure. So your total expenditure is 3,105, 4,525, 3,745, and 11,375. So we need to take A away from B. So for A, for June, it's 3,720. So if we get a calculator, and we're going to put 3,720 minus, for April, we've got <clears throat> our total expenditure. So make sure you use your total expenditure, 3,105. So minus 3,105 we get 615. So our open cash, 615 for April. For May then, our A is 3,870. So 3,870 minus your B, which is 4,525. So minus 4,525 we we'll get minus 655. So we've overspent in that month. So we spent too much. And then for June then, your A is 3,870. 3,870 minus your expenditure, total expenditure, which is 3,745 minus 3,745. And that's going to give you 125. And then your total then for your net cash A is 11,460. So 11,460 minus your total expenditure, which is B, which is 11,375 minus 11,375. And we get 85. So now what we do is we need to find our open cash. So open cash was given to us in a question, and we've put them in already as part of our first video. So 500 in our open cash for April and 500 for the total. So now we have to find our closing cash. So our closing cash is 615 plus 500. So as your net cash plus your opening cash gives you your closing cash. So 615 plus 500 gives you 1,000. 155. So 1,115. So your opening cash for one month, your closing cash for one month is the opening cash for the next. So a closing cash for April, for May, because a closing cash for May becomes our opening cash for April. So 1,105. Now we've got a minus here. So in your calculator, you're going to put in minus 655 plus 1,115. So I just need to clear that. So minus 655 plus 1,115 gives you 460. So your closing cash is 460 for April. So your closing cash for one month is your opening cash for next. So that's what comes 460. And we're going to add 125 plus 460. And that's going to give you 585. So that's our closing cash then for the whole period. And to check to make sure we're correct, we're going to add 85 and 500 and we get 500. And 85. So these two figures must be the same. 
if they're not, you've done your calculation incorrectly somewhere. So they're the same, so you know it's correct. So remember, to get your net cash, you're going to take your total income, which is A, minus your total expenditure, which is B. And you're going to find a figure for each one. Your opening cash will always be given to you in the question. So we always put that in first. It's the very first thing you're going to put in, and you're going to put it into two places. You're going to put it into the opening cash for your first month and your opening cash for your total. So remember, if you're starting with 500, then your total has to be 500 for opening cash. And your closing cash is your net cash plus your opening cash. So we added 615 to 500 to give you a closing cash. Closing cash for one month is the opening cash for next. So if you started your balance at the end of January, 31st of January, if you had 500 euros in your bank account, you're going to start February with 500 euros. So your closing cash for one month is the opening cash for next. Net cash plus opening cash gives you closing cash. So minus 655 plus 1,115 gives you 416. That becomes your opening cash for next month. We add on 220 to give you 585. So we know we're correct because these two are the same. And that's how you answer your household budget. So remember, break it up into different sections. Income. See what information is given into your, in the question and fill in your budget with that information. Make sure you add up your column, add up your row to get your totals. Do the same for your planned expenditure. Remember, planned expenditure is made up of fixed, irregular, and discretionary. And those subtotals, those three subtotals, so subtotals for fixed, subtotals for irregular, and subtotals for discretionary, those three are added together to get your total expenditure. Your net cash is A, take away B. A is your total income, which is up here. B is your total expenditure, which is down here. Those taken away from each other gives you your net cash. Opening cash will give you into the question, and your closing cash is net cash plus opening cash. And remember, closing cash for one month is the opening cash for the next. And remember, the opening cash for your total column is the same for the opening cash for your budget.